Hey guys, so welcome to the end of the month. I've got my February empties right here. There's a lot of them. Last month I finished a lot, so I thought this month would look kind of sad, but I've got a lot of stuff that I managed to finish. So let me start with, I guess, this one I've been working on for a while now. The Peter Thomas Roth Peptide 21 Wrinkle Cream, what do they call it? Lift and Firm Moisturizer, which I think they repackaged into a smaller jar because this one was 3.4 ounces it was kind of expensive when i bought it i think it was like 70 bucks and now they change it to a jar and decrease the size and i think they left the price the same but it was a good dupe for the uh drunk elephant proteiny and it's double size so it lasted me a long time i ended up using this a lot on my neck at night it really worked nicely so expensive but it did the trick uh Took me a long time to finish, which was nice because one pump would do most of my neck and this bottle just lasted forever and ever and ever and it was fragrance free. The serum uh, in this lineup is not fragrance free, but the moisturizer is and I really enjoyed it. Um, at this point, I've got so many good moisturizers that I don't feel I need to spend 70 bucks on another one, but I really did like it. Um, uh, next up, I'm going just back to the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Cream, which was also wonderful and a little bit more affordable. Okay, next up, another one I've been working on for quite some time, the Niode Superoxide Dismutase Mist, which is wonderful. I just love this stuff. Uh, I've been using it daily. Uh, two or three mists over my face seem to do the trick, and this bell lasted me forever as eight ounces. And so I've ordered another one. I can't believe I let it let myself finish it before I had it back up. But anyway, it's really lovely. And you can spray it everywhere, anywhere you want. I typically just did it on my face, but, I mean, you can use it wherever. So it's great for preventing uh, free, free radical damage and things like that. So anytime I was going to be outside or anything like that, I missed it. Okay, I used a mask, a propolis nourishing sheet mask. I'm not a crazy big fan of sheet masks, but I do have some. So I have a lot of them, actually. I think a lot of them I just get as, like, free gifts. Or once in a while, if my uh, purchase price isn't up to the... Close to free shipping, I'll add a mask on just to get the free shipping. But anyway, this was nice. It dried out kind of faster. You know, the only times I really use them are uh, Mondays when I clean the house. I'll put it on before I clean the house and then I peel it off when I'm done. And this one dried out before I was done cleaning, which is kind of a bar. But anyway, that was okay. Okay, just finished this one yesterday. The Wish Trend Sarah Barrier Soothing Ampule, which was really nice. Uh, the bottle went very fast, so kind of a bummer, but it was a really nice product overall, and I hear it compared a lot to the RNW uh, Ceramide Concentrate, which they're both lovely products. This stuff is really nice. I think it should come in a bigger bottle, though, because uh, the texture, it's a little thick, and it goes really fast, so I think like six weeks and it was gone. Tragic. Okay, let's see. Oh, I've got two of these. Hang on. Okay. The Skin Fix... Uh, Triple Lipid Collagen Skin Activating Youth Boosting Collagen Activating Serum or something like that. I don't know. I got these as a promo. I actually got three of them. I reviewed them a few weeks ago. So I finished two of the three of them. Because this product, the full size is like 70 bucks. So anyway, uh, I just kept when the sample was still available at Sephora. When I put an order and I, I'd get one more. And so then I could actually review without paying the full price for them. But I finished half of them. It's good, not a must-have. Okay, this I got at TJ Maxx, the Skin Fix Eczema Body Cream. I think I got these at TJ Maxx for like nine bucks. So when I saw them there, I picked up, I think like five or six of them, all of them that were there, because I love this moisturizer, especially for winter. It's lovely. So I finished this one. I've got my uh, next one already opened and going, <laughs> but this one I finished. So. That's it for Skin Fix. Okay, this one I finished this week. The Polish Choice Omega Cleansing Balm. This was a nice makeup remover. Uh, you can apply it on wet skin or dry skin, it says. Typically, I use this one a lot in the shower, so I'd use this uh, when my skin was wet, and I'd use my little um, silicone vibrating cleansing sponge thingamajig electronic device, and it did a good job removing makeup and things even when your skin was wet. And then I just do a light, uh, second step cleanser after this. So I use this one mostly in the shower. So um, anyway, it does a good job. But I think it's expensive. Uh, okay, finally finished this one, the Avenos Restorative Skin Therapy Balm. I really like this one. It has an ointment texture to it. I don't think they make it anymore. I think they replaced it with another product, which wasn't as good in my opinion, but this stuff was really nice. They don't make it anymore, so I don't think you can buy it. But, although it's probably available on like 
Mercari or something like that. But anyway, petroleum in here, oat kernel, uh, lots of oat kernel, and then uh, glycerin. It was really nice for like irritated spots, not like an all over type moisturizer, but for like dry patches and things like that. It always did the trick. Okay, my second to last Dr. Jar BB cream, the gold version. I really enjoyed this one. Now they reformulated it and repackaged it. And now they have four shades of it, uh, which it seems very similar to this. But anyway, so I picked these up on clearance because I really, this is my favorite one out of all everything. So really like that one. This one I didn't get to finish because, uh, okay, it's the Claire's illuminating supple blemish cream like a bb cream with spf 40. my first ball this was fine this one i used it a couple times and the fragrance is super strong and i went to use it again a couple weeks ago and the fragrance is so strong i i can't finish it i mean it expires i don't know in a few months so it's like it's like a third of the way gone but it's just I don't know. The first bottle of this was fine. The second one was super strong scented. And it does have fragrance in it, but it was just too strong. Uh, so anyway, so I'm just retiring it. <laughs> I mean, it's almost, it's like a third of the way empty. So it's DOA. Okay, Glossier Cleansing Concentrate. I freaking love this cleanser. I kept it in my bathroom. It was a great cleanser. The packaging was kind of annoying because it took like 10 pumps to get enough to cleanse your face. But really does a great job if you're lazy and you only feel like doing a one-step cleanse. This does a pretty good job removing most makeup and sunscreen all at once. Even better if you use like a Foreo device or something like that. So I love it. It was fragrance-free. The glass in the shower is a little not my favorite thing, but it's a great cleanser. I really enjoyed it. Okay, this was one more thing I had to retire because it was almost finished, but not quite. The Super Goop Mineral sheer mineral sheer screen uh this stuff just expired a few months few months ago <laughs> and it's almost finished so i'm retiring it now it has like two more uses but with zinc oxide yeah that's what this is once zinc starts to go bad it goes bad fast so don't even mess with it if it's close to being expired just retire it it's not worth messing with uh okay the regimen lab level serum i love this stuff amazing for brightening your skin up Highly recommend checking it out. It's wonderful. Great ingredient list. It's one of the best for brightening skin up, in my opinion, that I've ever used. So I highly recommend checking it out. I think that's my second or third bottle of it. Uh, the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I love this stuff. I use it every single night. It's probably one of the products I've been using the longest, along with the Casa Rex Snail Cream. Uh, the Pharmacy Honey Butter Lip Balm. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. I kept this one in my purse, so I finally finished it. But anyway, I always have to have a lip balm in the purse. The NARS, I think this was like their Sheer Glow Lip Balm. I finished a few of these. They're the mini sizes because these ones I get for free. Or they're in like little sets or whatever, so I really like it. Uh, let's see. The Numbuzin Green, Centella Relief green toner pad. I got this as a gift with purchase. It was fine. It was average. Uh, the Tear Support Life Extension Supplement. I just did a review of this on Sarah Speaks, so check that out if you suffer from dry eyes from LASIK, retinoids, lash serums, whatever. Highly recommend this. I love this. One of the only, this and HelioCare are the only supplements I take, and I love it. And then last but not least, a cotton pad container from Ulta Beauty, and I finished that. 100 count. Anyway, so that's my my finishes for this week. So, I did good. I don't know. Last, here's here's a little shot. Can you see them all? Do, 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 do. Okay. Anyway, interest hearing from you guys what you finished this month. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And I will see you more tomorrow. And check out that uh, Life Extension review on Sarah Speaks. If you haven't subscribed already, check it out. Uh, there should be a link in the description. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I will see you more tomorrow. Bye, guys.